Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, a place where you get to watch me build uh, this, a Minimax 1100R um, with a uh, uh, modification for a uh, half VW engine, which um, uh, I had in my mind. I was going to see it late September, early October. Uh, I talked to Scott on Friday and actually he's um, his lead time is extended a little bit and so I'm actually looking at December now so um, <sighs> either way hey it'll be worth it I mean that gives me lots of time to you know make sure what I've got going on here is very very excellent and um, I won't be rushing through anything I believe I believe by that point I should have the airframe completely done and just ready to mount the engine and and get some uh, some wiring done for that and and uh, move forward from there so anyway um, so we were working on these brackets uh, here that are holding the cable which um, which are working out uh, really well so this is how uh, this is how the uh, gascalator came out with the uh, um, fuel shutoff on the uh, front of it, and uh, and I've uh, hopped in, and it's really not uh, it's really not in my way, um, so that's a that's a good thing. Um, that's uh, that's actually a really good thing. So. It's not something you want to, uh, you don't want anything down there bothering you when you're when you're trying to fly the airplane so yeah um, so uh, let's see uh, I think what I've got going on here is I've taken and I've laid out the uh, I've laid out the horizontal stab and then what I'll do is as soon as I'm done uh, building the stab, I will just superimpose the elevator over top of it. I'll, I'll draw that in, and then I'll be able to be able to build that right on top of here as well. Um, so I've got it all all drawn out, just following the following the plans and uh, drawing the members in is um, pretty simple. It doesn't require a whole lot. Um, there's nothing there's nothing tricky. Um, when you get to the elevator, the center piece in the back is actually offset to one side, so you do have to pay attention to that. But for the stab itself, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and I've got my uh, I've got my hemlock spar here. I've got that cut to size, and we'll be in uh, good shape there. It'll be the same same spars as we have on our vertical stab. Is the, uh, the hemlock and I've got my uh, leading edge pieces um, uh, matched together and ready to uh, ready to epoxy together and so those are all good and then over here I've actually drawn out my uh, my roll cage um, assembly you can see that here basically it's three quarter inch tubing um, gets cut to this angle and it gets mitered up in these corners then there's some brackets that get it that go on either side both sides in the corners and then this whole thing gets mounted to the top deck um, uh, with uh, some other uh, 4130 brackets and so we'll get to that part I'm doing um, I'm doing my uh, for the forward part like uh, for some of you who are on the Facebook group, you've seen the uh, the uh, windscreen on patches, and I'm at, on Christie's plane patches. I'm actually doing mine the same way since I have a uh, uh, since mine's going to be a Warbird themed airplane. I kind of want those uh, angles. Um, rather than the, the bow and um, I actually want the uh, that's why I purchased the aluminum hinges because I'm going to actually use the aluminum hinges over 
over the uh, Lexan and then um, that'll get uh, uh, riveted um, into the tubing um, through the through the uh, hinges through the Lexan and into the uh, tubing and that will um, that will be uh, I'll like that look a lot and uh, that's what I'm going for and you know that's that mounts like in here somewhere I have to get the measurement out but there's a block in here specifically specifically for that uh, so there's that um, what I've decided to do today is actually I'm gonna make the uh, blocks that are going to be holding the uh, uh, that are for the tubes that are going to be for the static system so um, those are in the flight manual um, not in the plans so you have to go to the manual if you're if you're looking for the location of those it's actually not called out on the uh, on the plans but it's called out on the uh, in in the flight manual is where to put that so okay but anyway I'll, I'll show you that so let me get some things together and we'll uh, we'll knock that out all right all right, the first thing, uh, first thing you start with is uh, a, uh, a piece of uh, three quarter by three quarter by, uh, by one and a half. So um, we will measure, measure that off. And we're going to cut two of those. All right, now that we got those cut, what we have is um, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter uh, uh, pieces of mahogany. 8th inch and then we have our uh, block that is uh, uh, 3 quarter by uh, inch and a half. Did I say inch and a quarter? This is inch and a half by inch and a half. I may have said inch and a quarter. Um, at any rate, that's what it is. It's inch and a half. This is 3 quarter by inch and a half. And now we're going to we're gonna find the center of the uh, 3 quarter block and we'll just do that by going corner to corner corner to corner um, I broke my uh, I broke my Rockler pencil by the way and uh, dropping it on the ground of course um, and then I can't remember who mentioned these yellow ones but I got some of these the 0.9 millimeter with um, with an HB uh, an HB, some extra HB cartridges, and um, they're amazing. So, <laughs> whoever mentioned that, uh, thank you. I do. I am enjoying them. So, just leaves a nice black line. Okay. So uh, X marks the spot, and so we'll. Uh, We'll just center punch that because that's going to get a uh, it's going to get a quarter inch uh, quarter inch hole. So those will get uh, drilled. Then we want to we want to mark the uh, want to mark the center of each one of these. Do it this way since I already have half that distance in my hand here. It's the center of that one.
Just marking it from both sides just to make sure it's actually yeah, it's actually working out right on. So, and then we'll put some marks on the uh, on the ends of these because we'll be lining these up later. So when we epoxy these together, we'll just make sure they're make sure they're lined up there. And they'll get just clamped and epoxy together like so. And we'll get the get the drill press up here. We'll drill our quarter inch holes and we'll test fit our uh, holes and make sure that fits good. And then we will go to the next step. could use uh, aluminum tubing but uh, since this is the uh, you know this is the tubing that the fittings are designed to slip onto I'm just going to use that instead so uh, and it looks like looks like we've got a great fit so it's exactly a quarter of an inch so I want to leave uh, I want to leave enough sticking out so that we can make a decent connection. And this is our uh, so this will be connecting on the inside. And so I'm thinking we're going to want at least oh, about that much sticking out so whatever that is uh, we'll make it two inches so now I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off uh, I was just thinking to myself, I could have I could have drilled this after it was epoxied together, but uh, it's all good. We will do it the way we've done it. So. at uh, two inches right there
All right. All right, where that's located is uh, the third bay forward from the rear is where you want to where you want to put it, and uh, it is centered. It'll end up being uh, centered on this member, and whoops. So what I'm going to do is just measure. I'm just going to measure from from here to here, which is uh, 20 inches. And I'm going to put it right on 10. So that puts me right there. 10 inches from the top there. So 10 from there is right here. And that's where this will end up. Uh, it'll be epoxied right there. And, and then this plywood will end up basically extending a little bit past. Let me line it up here and we'll see where it ends up. Uh, I just realized my knee might be in your way. All right, so that'll go here. And this will be epoxy to it like so. And of course, we will have drilled through the, our plywood by this point. Um, well, this will be centered up on here, and then this will get centered up on there, and it goes just like that. And then it gets epoxy. This here gets epoxy to here, and then later on, when we're covering, this will get a one-inch aluminum disc with a sixteenth-inch hole drilled in the center of it. Over that way, we'll just put it on with fabric glue uh, at the very end. It'll go over top of that, and then uh, that's where our uh, that's where our static ports will be. And I think we'll probably just going to sand these a little bit, round off the edges maybe. And uh, but I think I'll do that after we get it epoxy together. And we'll not put the tubing in for now because we're gonna end up drilling back through this, through the plywood, so, okay. All right, I was just gonna show you that uh, sometimes when I just need a, a small amount of T88, I just, I just come in and uh, I just run a line of epoxy, like so, and then I come in with the, uh, that's that was the hardener, and I come in with the other, and just run a similar line and then just mix those up the uh, uh, the epoxy not the hardener actually starts to flatten out right away uh, because it's a lower viscosity so lower or higher hmm I've never talked about viscosity before so I'm going to say that it's a lower viscosity and that the hardener is a higher viscosity. Now I'm going to have to search that out. Here. Let's do that right now. Thin oils have lower viscosity and pour more easily. So there we go. So <laughs> this is a lower viscosity. This is a higher viscosity. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we learned something today. All right, gonna try and try and not uh, get this all over me. Let me 
sand that just a little. Single clamp will do the trick here. So Okay, there's one. All right, so those are uh, those are put together and uh, drying, and they will end up. Uh, it will end up going just like that in that location and then uh, that will be for our pedo static system uh, the static portion of the pedo system um, the static portion of the pedo static system <laughs> the other portion will actually come through this sidewall right here <laughs> and it will go up into this hole into the instrument panel and to the back of the instrument so um yeah so uh short video uh today i just wanted to uh stop down and and do a little something um because it makes me feel good and um but it it is uh father's day and um so the family's got plans for me, so I need to uh, hustle on out of here before the phone starts ringing. And anyway, um, yeah, thanks so much for, uh, for hanging out. Uh, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. I'm glad you uh, found the channel, and hopefully you uh, enjoy following along um, as we uh, keep this build rolling. And um, if you're a father, happy Father's Day. And uh, to all the mothers, thank you for what you do. We wouldn't be the same without you. So, all right, catch you later.